Hey Marissa, I've been on your mailing list for a while. I'm one of the people that would love to take action. However, I will admit I'm a huge skeptic and reason being for that without sounding too harsh. It does sound too good to be true. And usually when something sounds too good to be true, it generally is. A huge counter argument for that is that I do have you on YouTube. Your results seem genuine. And when I read your emails, I feel like there's something missing in terms of getting results. Getting great financial results cannot be easy for someone just starting out. And what I hear, even if you've never had experience with tech, it doesn't matter. I just feel like that's a way to lure people in and to get a quick sale and then they feel lost. Since I follow your YouTube channel, you have so much energy, you always seem genuine and honest, but where I've been suckered into what people would call, I guess he's saying he's been suckered in the past, into what people would call get rich quick schemes. That's Kyle, by the way. One thing for sure is that if you've, if you've been following me for quite some time and you really pay attention to things I say in my videos, even if you pay attention in my emails, you know, I don't really make things sound too good to be true. They're positive, but they're not too good to be true. We live in a world where so many people have different definitions for what things mean. And so what one person may think is too good to be true, another person I think that's regular. To me, when it comes to making money online, too good to be true are the people and the marketers out there that will tell you, hey, you just join in the system and you press a few buttons, all of a sudden you're gonna start making $5,000 a day or you're gonna be able to buy a Ferrari next month, which believe it or not, there are systems like that out there um, that are making a ton of money because it's interesting, just as people are skeptical of this stuff when it's legit, they still want to be told that this stuff is going to be easy. You're going to get everything handed to them, to you. You know, you're going to be able to buy a Ferrari next month. As much as people are like, that sounds too good to be true. They love hearing it. There is a learning curve and then there is a work ethic you have to have behind what I do. I do not believe in get rich quick schemes. Trust me, because if there was such a thing, I'm the kind of person I would have taken advantage of it already and I would have been rich by now. Trust me, I, I, I'm gonna be on it. And if there are any, y'all let me know, okay? Y'all let me know. If, if any of y'all find one of those things, let me know so I can so I can get rich too. Because while my results are pretty good online, um, they're far from rich, I can tell you right now. I wanna talk about something you said in your email, which is getting great financial results cannot be easy for someone just starting out. Again, I guess it depends on the definition of what great results is and the definition of just starting out is it took me three to four months to quit my job that i had when i started all of this in 2013 to do this full time i was just starting out when i mean just starting out i didn't know some of those basic terminology I didn't even <laughs> i didn't even know what affiliate marketing was i didn't even know it took me i was like that concept, I was like, affiliate marketing, you know, what is that? Like, I just didn't know. And even whenever I was told what it was, I was still like, I don't know what this means. <laughs> so if somebody like that can go from literally that to in three to four months, quit their job and do this stuff full time ever since, to me, that's considered a, a person just starting out. I'm starting to get a lot more people on my team in the No Limit system that are reaching out to me that I know for a fact either have struggled online in the past, they've spent thousands and thousands of dollars and haven't gotten anywhere, or they are literally just starting out, they've never tried anything like this before, that are coming back to me saying, oh, they're getting their first results. Like I said, it depends on what you think a great financial gains are. To me, if I hear somebody say, hey, I came online within a year, you know, I started making like $30,000 a month. To me, I'm like, okay, Okay, that's a great financial game. I said in that email, I said, look, if you have that mindset that nobody, you know, it, it seems like it's impossible for people to have great financial results or financial results just starting out, then I said to him in the email, I literally said it, I said, then yeah, for you, it's not gonna be easy. Every single time I've hit like a setback or, you know, something challenging would come up in, in my business and I thought it was way too hard and I thought, oh my God, this is just like, how am I gonna get over? This is like a huge obstacle. Every time I had that mindset, it was always hard. It was always hard, okay? It took me way too long to freaking learn this, but I've learned that even when I have obstacles in my business or you know things I have to overcome, I've learned to bounce back extremely fast. Like not think about the pain, just like, you know what? There's a solution out there. People have figured it out. I gotta figure it out. I just gotta go and it's gonna be easy. When I get it all connected, it's gonna be like I got over this little obstacle and it was just like nothing. And that's exactly what has been happening. And it's, it's easy, you know, when I think like that. But every time I've been like, oh God, like, I don't want to do this. 
This is going to be hard. It can't, this can't, it can't be possible. Every time I've ever thought like that, oh, I've gotten exactly what I was thinking. Sometimes to get the whole picture, you just got to take the leap of faith and get involved. If you actually just do it, the confusion is going to go away because you're going to understand. You're going to get a better understanding of, of, of everything that's going on. If I didn't take that leap of faith and didn't act quickly in 2013 the way I did, even without really understanding uh, or a little bit confused about what how this stuff works, if I wouldn't have done that, I would seriously still be working for somebody right now. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but now that I've know, I know the difference of what it really feels like to be your own boss and to not be capped by the time you're spending on it and the money you can make, I don't know, like that's powerful to me.